Cooning or what? What is she doing, bro? Mm, I don't know. Mm, Sometimes when you see stuff like that, like at least for me, I like I try to think like, yeah, what the hell was that person thinking when they did that? And to say that she was cooning for me, in a way, it, I would say that's a scratch. I don't know what the hell she was doing. It was a menstrual show. Like, it it was just, it was just stupid. Like, I don't, and, because that's why I was like, when I seen it, I know you told me about it, and I was like, well, whatever. I don't really care for Tiffany had it like that. Like, I watched the show, last OG, not for her. Even though she had been better this season, but I watched it for Tracy Morgan, so. And I think they were talking, and I fully seen it on Dead Nation, and some of them were killing her. Like, what the hell are you doing? And oh, they like, were, they were killing her on Dead Nation about that as well. Remember, I told you, Gary and Evil, they were kind of killing her because Evil, was like, yo, when you sneak food into the, when we sneak food into the movie theater, we don't tell nobody. So why the hell are you telling somebody about you got some chicken in a, in a Ziploc bag in your book? Like, why? Why? Just go on about your business. You ain't even have nothing about that. And that was my thing. Like, I, I and, don't. And, that, and my thing also is that she had the Matt Gallup. So the whole thing is about getting attention is by dressing crazy. She already accomplished that. Like, like dressing crazy. But my whole thing is she dressed like a pimp pulling chicken out of a purse, man. Yeah, I Come like, on. I don't. Like, mm, like. I get for me. I don't know. I don't. It would have been some other stuff for me to say that she's cooning. But mm, like I said, I don't, I don't. I tried to figure out like, what the fuck would you do that. <laughs> like my thing, but my thing also, I can't do that because I would have never, ever, 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 ever thought about going to the Met Gala. Every time I see them, when they have it, I was like, what the hell do y'all go to the Met Gala for? Other than to look like a damn fool. Making that statement. That they look like a damn fool. That's where they like going. Like at first I thought it was like kinda like a fashion thing. But when they start wearing these crazy outfits and uh, I think one year that nigga Kanye came up there with some like I went blonde, but they were like platinum hair and colorful eye contacts and shit and I'm like, Y'all niggas are weird, yo. That shit like the Hollywood Hollywood Halloween costume party. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> weird. Like the, the shit y'all get into in Hollywood, I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to get into. And my thing when I thought about it was, you know, Cat Williams tried to warn y'all about this like seven, eight months ago, and people was out there killing Cat. Mm-hmm. And I said, Nah, Cat was telling the truth, man. But. Uh, also, I, I would, yeah, that's what I probably would say, that there was something that she did out of uh, attention, because, like Eva said, like, yo, if you're sneaking in something, even if you ain't sneaking in something, that ain't something you did go around. And pull, it, and pull it out and letting everybody see yeah, it. That's why you know that she wasn't trying to do the movie theater thing. It was she was doing that for show. Yeah, she thought that was going to be hilarious. That people were going to find it super duper funny. Yeah, and I was like, cause that, me thinking about it, it think made me think back to that Hillary Clinton. Well, yeah, I walk around with hot sauce in my like. Why you? Why you say that? Why? Why? And, and why you bring that up? Like, who gives a fuck? My thing is, is that I don't mind, you know, Tiffany Haddish, but. My point is that Hollywood and the entertainment industry, it keeps um, producing these stereotypes and characters of black women. Repeatedly, man. They keep doing it over and over and over again. And it shines bad on black women. 
But black women be supporting it just because the person is getting a bag. You know. Representation. Yeah. Like they for, you know, any representation is good representation. No, it ain't. Mm -hmm. Like some representation is not good, bro. And like I said back in the 70s with this black exploitation film, white people put them, did those films so they can stereotype and dehumanize black people throughout America. And that's why when you see all of these other races who think poorly of African Americans, this is partially why. It's because they play with our images. And we be cheering for it because we're not seen. We wasn't seen in TV. We didn't have black faces in high places. So we want to cheer everything. Mm-hmm. Now, and that's my thing. Like I didn't, at least I didn't think like that. My parents didn't think like that. My people that I hadn't seen didn't, or, or have been around didn't seem like they thought that way. But I actually seen someone say that about like, yo, I'm pro-black and I support all black stuff. No matter what they do, if they do some bad stuff. It ain't my, it ain't my, none of my problem. Yeah, I support see, them and it like, no, no see, I this, can't. This, see, this is my thing. With this, is that black people who think that way? They are correct to think that way. What they're basically saying is they allow for people to be judged as individuals. But what you see from, especially white people, and then some other groups in their country, that ain't how they see things. Like you, some shit pop off in Chicago with shootings. It's what about Chicago? But you never hear white people talking about all these goddamn school shootings and contributing that to whiteness. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? When a a terrorist attack happened, they contribute that shit to all Muslims. But 90-some percent of serial killers are white. You don't hear white people contributing them, those killings to whiteness. Like, if something happens with black people, it's where are the fathers? You ain't never heard them say anything about where the fathers went in some school shootings from white people. Mm-hmm. Because well, black people allow people to be judged as individuals, and that's why black people don't understand that someone like Tiffany Haddish could be bad for black America, for black women. They don't understand that. The same way with, you know, silly-ass rappers who be out here on their dumb shit, we look at that shit and we just see it as rap, Right? That's those people who doing that, that individual. But them motherfuckers see that shit and spray paint everybody in black America with it. Mm-hmm. And that's why you see um, shit like Trayvon and Tamir Rice and all of these brothers get killed because this is what white people do, especially racist white people. They judge minorities by their worst example, by judging themselves by their best examples and their best intentions. And that's why when you see someone like Tiffany Haddish, they produce people like that because this is what they think black women are, Tiffany Haddish. This is why they promote and push people like Cardi B so much because this is what they believe black women are. Mm -hmm. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe.